Hello darlings, I thought it was about time we had a bit of a catch up and get back into the swing of normal vlogs um, because I've totally got out of the habit of doing them since going away. As you probably know, Charlie and I were abroad for maybe like the, <laughs> pretty much the whole of April. Um, so my YouTube schedule has been all over the place, but today I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. I'm gonna show you some unboxing very shortly, but I'm gonna put some makeup on my face first. I was just about to whiz through it and do it normally, but then I thought that I would do it on camera and also share with you some new launches because I've had a few meetings with brands lately and I've had some nice blogger mail lately. So I thought I would show you a few of the pieces that are new to me and we can do some first impressions and also just catch up while I put them on my face. This is a Galan um, Abbe Royale B Glow. I think this is a primer. Oh, but first, um, I already put the Estee Lauder Daywear Oil Free SPF 25 24 Hour Antioxidant Moisturizer. This one here, I put this one on first. This one is new to me, but their daywear range I think is kind of aimed at millennials. Um, it's good for just keeping the skin glowy and hydrated, and it also has antioxidants in there, so great for anti pollution. So I thought I would try that one out, and it was really lovely and light. This, I had a meeting with the lovely girls from Galan yesterday, and they were saying that also this helps to give the skin a lovely, healthy, dewy glow. It's a really comfortable product to wear on top of your moisturizer. It's moisturizing itself, so you could get away with out wearing a moisturizer and they were saying that it also helps to tighten the skin. I am getting to the point where I'm getting a bit concerned with fine lines around my eyes and I actually popped a tiny bit of this on my hands yesterday during the meeting and patted it around the eyes and you know when you just feel instantly brighter and lifted it just felt so so nice and having it all over my skin now I can tell it just feels really comfortable but also like you know a little bit smoothed out which is great if you're maybe late 20s and I'm not quite late 20s but already concerned with the fine lines and then I still have not tried the ordinary serum foundation and when I was shopping in Covent Garden the other day I went in there with Georgia and she said that I had to try this so I picked this up Apparently this formula, the serum foundation, is quite similar to NARS Sheer Glow, which was always a favourite of mine. I picked up the shade 2.0 P Light Medium. It says SPF 15 as well, and this one has pink undertones. So I think I'll apply this with my IT Cosmetics brush. So I'm going to pop some on the back of my hand. I can tell this is a kind of bottle that's going to get really, really grubby. It's got that like textured black lid. So let's give it a go. It feels quite watery, but than serum foundations usually do. I don't want anything too high coverage because I have got a bit of a natural tan. I say natural tan, it's completely fake. Let me show you what I used. Actually this morning I sprayed this on my face. This is a real product catch up for you guys. This is a new, I think it's a gradual tan. It says adaptive tanning mist from Oskius. This is I believe 100% natural. Yeah, triphase 100% natural self tanning mist. So I love to use, I'm a big fan of Vita Liberata and I use the phenomenal tan in the darkest one. So it's a two to three week tan and that is why my body is brown. And then I like to use a spray on my face because I find that it's just really, really quick to do. Um, and I don't like putting the mitt on my face so much. So I always use a spray on my face. That lives in this room here with my makeup because then before I do my makeup in the mornings, if I have quite a long time to get ready, so enough time for like a fake tan to settle in before I apply my moisturizer, then I'll just give my face a quick spritz. I have to say this foundation so far feels really comfortable and it looks like it's blending in with my skin really, really nicely. This is a really, really lovely consistency. I would say it's, um, if you are a fan of NARS Sheer Glow, I would say it's actually a little bit more sheer, a little bit lighter, which for this time of year is really nice. It's giving me a good bit of coverage, but it still looks really, really skin-like. And the best thing is it was £5.50, honestly so affordable there must be a downside somewhere either it's totally full of chemicals or it's gonna slide off throughout the day who knows but I will keep you updated as to how it lasts throughout the day as I said after I've done this makeup I'm gonna try not to drag it out too much I'm gonna show you some new bits that I have in my wardrobe I made a little order from Netta Porter and I also have some new things from Reese new thing new things from French Connection as well so I'll show you those in a sec 
Okay, super pleased with that foundation that is officially going in my everyday drawer. I hate having foundation lips, so I'm just gonna pop on some By Terry Balm de Rose, which is now stocked in Selfridges. I always put lip balm on after my foundation because then my lips are usually nicely nourished, ready for lipstick later on. And I'm so excited for the lipstick I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try out the Galan Rouge G Double Mirror Cap Lipsticks. So these are the most beautiful lipsticks. I have ever seen and surprisingly affordable. The actual case is £14.99 and the lipsticks I believe are £23. So not that expensive for something that is going to last you a really long time. I'll talk about that a little bit more when I apply my lipstick. So I'm going to powder my base. I'm going to use my YSL Souffle Duclet. Oh actually no, <laughs> sorry YSL. I'm going to use my Hourglass because this is a fairly new launch. It comes in this amazing packaging. It's their translucent setting powder veil and I love the packaging. It has quite a lot of overspill at the moment because it's been in my suitcases. But if I swirl the brush around here, it's just a really lovely powder that doesn't get rid of the glow, which is amazing. I'm just doing quite a natural makeup look today because I'm just going to be at home, although I am filming, hopefully if I get time, a fashion video later on. Okay, so I've done my usual eyebrows. They're a little bit darker than normal because I have um, dyed them myself using the Ilio kit, which I'm a big fan of. Next, I'm going to try. This is a new eyeshadow cream from Bourjois. Looks like this, so nice and affordable. I've heard, I think it was Alex from my Covered Thee used these and said they're a really good dupe for a Glossier eye. Um, stick I think but it's the satin edition 24 hour eyeshadow this is the shade Abra Kada Brown in the satin finish so I'm just going to use the doe for applicator and pop this straight onto my lids I feel like this could be a really nice everyday brown shade and cream eyeshadows are so easy to apply and great for summer great for summer holidays this looks like a perfect kind of mushroomy brown shade fairly natural but it's got a little bit of shimmer but it's definitely not sparkly. I wish you could see that a little bit more clearly because it really is so nice. Okay I don't know how much you can see of that because it is a fairly natural colour but it looks really really beautiful. I'm a big big fan of that um, and super affordable as well. I think these are definitely under £10 so really good high street eyeshadow. Big fan of that. I also have a couple of different colours. I've got Eau de Roses and Beige Cellar. That's these two here. Both of them I think I'll probably use when I'm doing a slightly more going out day. The pink one would be a really nice like spring everyday makeup look and the gold one probably for an evening. So they look beautiful. You might have spotted this in my hands. It looks very much like my La Mer powder which is in my travel makeup bag but it is their new bronzing powder and it looks absolutely stunning. So this is the packaging um, of the palette and then inside this is the bronzer. You can see the camera in the reflection. Mostly this deep bronze and you've got a blush shade running through and also some more shimmery sections here which will hopefully just add a nice pearlescent glow. This is my first time using this so a real first impression. Oh that is gorgeous. Oh and it smells so good. <laughs> Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. As I said, I'm already fairly dark, so it's not made my skin not too noticeably more brown, um, but it's given just such a lovely glow. I don't know if you can see the very like delicate highlight on my cheeks and just a really lovely warm color all over. That is stunning. And they also have brought out these new color sticks. Um, this one is Pink Sands and it is, it looks like this. So this is a cheek and lip tint. I'm going to try a little bit on my cheek. Oh, it's nice and dewy. I feel like if you're on holiday and you're having one of those days when you just want to have a super dewy makeup look, this would be absolutely perfect. So it's just a very delicate spring pink. It looks really intense in the, um, in the packaging, but actually on the cheeks, it's really lovely, just like a subtle, pretty flush. 
I've got two mascaras I want to try, so I'm going to do one on each eye. This one is the new YSL Volume Effect The Curler Mascara, and as you might be able to guess by the name, this one has a curved brush, and apparently you don't need eyelash curlers. It's going to give you a really nice curved lash, as though you've used eyelash curlers. So that looks promising. And then we also have Lash Topia Mega Volume Mineral Based Mascara from Bare Minerals. That one looks like this. And the brush, I think, is just um, like a classic bristle brush. In my eyes, Bare Minerals can do no wrong, so I'm very much looking forward to trying that as well. I am going to curl the lashes on the Bare Minerals eye and see if they really do look as good on the YSL eye. So let's do Bare Minerals first. Okay, I'm very, very happy with how that has turned out. As you can see, my lashes are just like nice and fluttery, all separated, there's no clumping going on, and they're really nice and intense black as well. That's just one coat of mascara. I um, read the press release where it said that this has got some ingredients in there which are also really nourishing for the lashes, which is great for my lashes at the moment because I'm between individual lash extensions. I'm gonna get some more tomorrow so you guys can come and have a beautifying day with me tomorrow because I've got lots of little treatments going on. Um, but yeah, this has got castor oil in there which will help the lashes grow, help to nourish the lashes, which is always great. And I think once I've let this layer dry, I might add another layer. Although for an everyday look, this is a perfect amount of mascara. And then on my left eye, where I've not curled the lashes, I'm gonna try this new YSL mascara. This is also gonna be coming out in brown, which I will definitely be keen to try, and this is available from Selfridges. I have to say instantly, it's not giving the lashes as much length as the Bare Minerals one is, um, and it does look a little bit more clumpy. Maybe I should have curled the lashes, but um, let's stick with it, give it a little bit more time. I'm not sure how much detail you can see, but from my little handheld mirror, the Bare Minerals eye is definitely better. This is, I know I obviously use lash curlers, but this mascara is much more lifted, more kind of like fluttery and separated, whereas these lashes are, I'd say actually it's like a more intense eye, but they're not as long or fluttery looking. So I am more of a fan, first impressions, definitely of the Bare Minerals, and it's got the mineral ingredients in there, so it's gonna be good for the lashes. I am gonna do another coat of Bare Minerals over the top just to add a little bit more definition. I think if you have a similar style to me where you like your makeup to look a little bit more natural, um, but still kind of enhance what you've got, then the Bare Minerals one is definitely a really good mascara. It's not volumizing though, I mean, my I don't look like I've got that many lashes, but they look really like fluttery and separated, whereas these are um, not as long, but they're more voluminized. If that makes any sense at all, I have a really glorious, refreshing and setting spray to use. This is brand new, I got this in a meeting yesterday and it is the Erin, and I just love that brand so much, Rose Water Refreshing and Setting Mist. As you can imagine, this smells amazing, it's so nice for like, refreshing your complexion during the day or setting your makeup and the rose smell is absolutely gorgeous and it looks beautiful as well so that's going to be a major favourite for the next few weeks. Let's see if it does help to set the makeup a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with my Galan Rouge G lipstick. So this is the one that I've got. I have in here um, shade number two which is a really popular nude shade and then I've gone for this beautiful pearlescent kind of moonshine packaging. So you go in, you choose your outer shell and I've got a few beautiful ones here. This is one that I haven't even opened yet. It is the Romantic Bohème and I'll leave the correct price on the screen but I'm pretty sure they're $14.99. So they come like this. This is an empty outer casing. Take off the little sticker and then they automatically ping open and I've got a mirror inside until you clip the lipstick inside. And here's some more examples. We've got this gorgeous, very Parisian looking polka dot style and the lipstick inside is a beautiful intense red shade. How dreamy does that look? Absolutely gorgeous. Then a mirrored gold marble case and inside this one 
I have chosen this gorgeous balmy colour. So this is like a lovely soft pink petally colour and it is actually a lip balm. So this one is going to go in my handbag. Then we have got this almost like a rose gold leather. It's like a pebble leather. And inside this one, I've got a lovely very summery fuchsia colour that is absolutely dreamy, perfect for summer parties, weddings. That would be if you, I think for a, a, a wedding day, if you find your perfect shade of lipstick and then you get your case engraved with your wedding date or your new name, it's something that you can keep forever. You can keep the case forever but just keep topping up the lipstick as it runs out. I think that's just such a lovely thing for a wedding day or thing to treat your bridesmaids to, that kind of thing. So here I've got an example of the box and the lipstick. So you do buy the two separately. My final box, I'll show you how I put them together. This is the very batik style and this one is really unusual. It's got a, um, looks a little bit like the Mandarin Oriental fan. You can see this design on the outside. I've got a gorgeous coral coloured lipstick. So the lipsticks, again, you come get them by themselves. They look like this. They look a little bit stranger and they're not in any casing. But you pull that off and you can see the lipstick inside. And then you just clip your lipstick into its outer casing and that is the finished effect. As I said, I'm going to try out the one in my beautiful, this is probably my favourite packaging, the pearly pink case, and it is nude number two. So when I pull it open, the mirror pops up so I can apply my lipstick on the go. I'm just quickly going to line the lips with Charlotte Tilbury Hot Gossip. <laughs> Always looks so strange before you put your lipstick on. And then I'm going to apply the lipstick. So it looks like this. This is the colour. It's a really beautiful brownie nude, exactly my fave, so let's give this a go. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely dreamy. The consistency is, I would just describe it as like a typical lipstick. It just feels very comfortable, it's not matte, it's not shiny, it's just got a little bit of a sheen to it, which hopefully it's going to mean it's going to be nice and long lasting very very comfortable on the lips and this colour oh my goodness is basically my dream colour so fabulous new launch from Galan I'm now going to do my hair I'm going to use my steam pod to put some curls in and then I'm going to show you what I have been purchasing lately so back in a second So the conditioner that I used this morning was way too thick for my hair, so it's left quite a lot of product um, in the ends, which is really annoying, but I'm getting my hair coloured tomorrow, so I'm not going to rewash it or anything. It just means I'm going to leave it, leave the curls to really cool down and set before I brush it, otherwise I'll end up with part straight bits of hair. So I'm going to leave it looking like this while I show you guys my new pieces. Okay, we're down here again. I'm so pleased with how this makeup looks, this lipstick colour is literally going to be my spring lipstick. So, so happy with that and the base just looks fabulous and glowy, so a big fan of all of those pieces. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you something which actually I unboxed a couple of days ago and I did show you on my Instagram stories and most of you guys really liked it but I'm really keen to hear your actual comments as opposed to just an Instagram story poll. So let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. And I definitely have an argument for and against keeping it. And it is this bag from Cult Gaia. So this is, I've never had a Cult Gaia bag before, but you know the ones, um, the like half moon bags that there are dupes of everywhere now. That's what made Cult Gaia famous. It is a designer brand, but they're not ridiculously expensive. I mean, they're expensive for what they are. I think this was around 170, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll leave it linked down below, um, which is a lot for a straw bag. But I thought it was just really effective, really pretty, very visually appealing. And um, I do have a few more trips coming up that this would look really fabulous on. Things like summer garden parties, I feel like I always say that, but I think this will just really look really nice with quite a few outfits that I've got. I'm gonna feature this um, in a video that I'm gonna film this afternoon. So yeah, really interested to know what you guys think. My argument, so those are my arguments for keeping it and the fact that it's not crazy expensive considering it is a designer bag. 
But my argument against keeping it is that I do have my tassel straw bag. Actually, I have two straw bags that I took to the Maldives and Amalfi. My little clutch bag with the pom-poms and my top handle ruffly one that I took to the Maldives. So I do have a few summery bags already and the tassel one was also fairly expensive. So do I need another one? Who knows? I've also put in a little calico bag because as you can see, it is see-through. Anything that I put inside here would fall out or get really tangled amongst the, um, amongst the, what would you call that? Weaving? Straw weaving? I don't know. It would get very, very tangled and it would look quite messy. So I've had to put a little bag inside this too. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I do think it's adorable um, and I would definitely keep it if it was like 40 or 50 pounds, but because it is over the hundred pound mark, it definitely requires um, some serious consideration. So please let me know your thoughts. So a lot of my other new pieces, these are very kindly sent to me from me and M. Um, and then I've also got some nice new pieces from Reese. They're all in this pile here and I haven't actually tried them on yet. So I think what I'm gonna do, this is my really casual working from home this morning outfit, by the way. I've got my little um, super cheap vest top. This was from New Look. And then these are like old Topshop trousers, but yeah, as you saw, went to the gym this morning, came home and popped something super comfy on. So what I'm gonna do is actually try on these pieces. And then this is mostly stuff that I think you guys have seen before. You probably will recognize these pieces from my Zara haul. Um, this I've been wearing loads recently. I'm gonna film with that in a second. How nice does my ring look? I'm still just so obsessed with this ring. Oh my God, I feel like I haven't showed you guys a close-up in a little while but let's just appreciate how beautiful this is Charlie has done very very well anyway slight distraction um yeah so I'm gonna style potentially some of these new bits and show you some of the new bits from here as well that you may not have seen yet so let's get trying all right this is definitely not the best outfit combination um, but what I'm showing you is this beautiful blouse this is one from me and M I love blouses like this at this time of year it's like really perfect for spring because it's lovely lightweight material but it still keeps you fairly warm if it's a little bit breezy outside um, perfect for the office as well as holidays things like that really really like this detail that is very effective um, and I like the fact that it's not really open, but it's still quite like low cut, but not revealing in the slightest. So that's the first piece from me and M. Oh, the shorts, by the way, are from Reese. I haven't actually worn these out yet, even though I've had them for a couple of weeks because I've not been too sure what to style them with. Although I've got this blouse here also from Reese which will look amazing with them. So maybe I'll try that combo on together next. Okay, definitely these shorts look so much better with this top. This is a lovely little silk cami that I got from Reese recently. And it's been one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe lately. It looks really, really nice with a tan, lovely and loose and breezy. I also wore this yesterday with um, my beautiful Broderie Anglais Zara skirt. This is what I wore yesterday. If I can find a photo, I'll pop it up on the screen now, but this was just such a gorgeous little combination. Looked so, so pretty, very perfect for spring, very much my style, very elegant and ladylike. In fact, I think I'm gonna feature this as one of my five outfits in the video I'm about to film, which is gonna be my five outfit ideas for sunny days or outfit ideas for spring. Let me know what you think I should call it. This is my next item from Reese, and apologies, I'm definitely not wearing the correct underwear for this. I'm wearing uh, not nude. So this is a very lovely lightweight dress. It is very long line. Um, it's got beautiful pleat detail, which you can see in the sleeves. It's things like this, which I think make Reese items so, so lovely. This I would probably wear with the right underwear. I would wear just by itself with some really nice jewelry, some really nice earrings. I'd probably like pin my hair back. Um, I might actually wear this next week. I've got a couple of nice events that I'm going to with my mum. Yeah, this underwear is really making it not look as good as it could do, but a really pretty, lovely, lightweight item for spring. Again, could be a nice one for wearing to the office. I just can't stop staring at the sleeves. They are so, so beautiful. It's got like a pleat starting from the shoulders and then pushing its way down. So, so lovely. In fact, it would look really nice with the Cult Gaia bag. What a gorgeous spring outfit. Love that. Oh my goodness, this is genuinely one of the most beautiful and one of the most me items of clothing I think I have ever tried on. And this is also from Reese. Beautiful pleated dress and oh my goodness, 
it's absolutely gorgeous. The length is beautiful, it finishes just above the knees, so a nice feminine but very elegant length. And then as you can see, the bodice is just all the gorgeous, gorgeous pleats. The top, I could do it all the way to the top, but I thought I would leave a little bit of skin showing. This is my new necklace, this one is from Lynx, it's from their Splendor collection. Really, really beautiful, um, very effective and nice against tan skin. So, oh, and look at the sleeves, it's got this beautiful fluted sleeve, which I'm still absolutely in love with. This would be a good one if you're planning on eating a lot as well, because there's plenty of room for indulgence. I've just popped this on with some new Topshop shoes, which I'm still a little undecided about. They're quite heavy if you're going to pack them for a holiday, because they've got a wooden heel. Um, but then I think they're pretty, pretty nice and affordable, easy to slip on. So that's the shoes that I've paired it with. Once again, with the Cult Gaia bag, that could be really, really nice. A very easy summer look. Next outfit is another really easy one for summer days. I have just tried on this lovely new top, again from Me and M. This brand, they're always such high quality materials. This is a super soft cotton top and it's got this lovely um, lace detail down here at the bottom. You can see it's just got this very simple panel of lace, very effective. Needs to be hung up for a bit longer because it's a little bit creased, but this has got little uh, loophole pocket detail there, keyhole detail, and then the trousers are some lovely linen trousers from French Connection. I think that linen trousers are a brilliant staple for a summer wardrobe. I actually took these up a couple of inches so they're a little bit more um, cropped. Another jumper here from me and M. This is one of their amazing cashmere hoodies and these are just the most luxurious thing to wear as loungewear if you work from home or if you travel a lot. I spent all of my time during our travels um, when I was actually traveling in a me and M jumper because they're just such good quality. They always look good, even if you've been like sleeping on an airplane for hours and hours. It was, do I have it here? Um, no, I'll show it to you in my main wardrobe, but it's the best. This is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it just looks really nice with a tan, um, beautiful color, really nice chilled shape, very nice casual wear, but also you can just tell that it's a luxury piece. Really, really good quality. A couple more new pieces, and firstly, this top is new from Reese again. Unsurprisingly, I was attracted to this one because of the beautiful color. It's like a dusty rose blush pink, but a little bit more lilac-y. Love how how much like skin is exposed up here very very summery beautiful straps as well I don't know how much you can see but they're like a ruched material on the straps and then of course you've got this lovely frill across there on the back it is a tie detail at the very top there um, if I had someone helping me right now I would do it in a nice little bow but at the moment I've just tied it in um, in a knot I have got it on with these gorgeous trousers now these are from French Connection I am quite short so a little bit long for me I'm trying to stand on my tiptoes and I'm not balancing very well but they have this epic pleat detail down at the side here you can see they really are much too long for me so the um, the main fabric of the trousers opens up and then it's like a chiffon material in here which is just absolutely gorgeous I think I'm definitely gonna have to take these to the tailors because I don't think I'm skilled enough to take these up by myself it should be fairly easy but then once they're taken up that's just gonna be so so effective I love white trousers at this time of year I find them um, really good for so many different occasions, they can be very, very smart, but also chilled out vibes as well. Oh my goodness, I'm now really annoyed with myself because I've had this top in my wardrobe for about four or five weeks. I got it before all of our holidays, um, or our trips, they definitely were work trips and not holidays, um, but I didn't try it on because I didn't think I would like it. Now that I've tried it on, I think this is probably one of my favourite things in my wardrobe. It is absolutely beautiful, especially when worn with high-waisted trousers like these. This, I think, is just from Topshop, so really affordable, but it looks so much like a Zimmerman or like a much more expensive designer. It just fits so, so nicely. It's got a crossover detail on the front, beautiful floral pattern, and then it's got this band around the waist, which I think, or, um, or not maybe waist, it's a little bit above the waist, around the chest, which I just think is so super, super flat just popped my hair up so it's getting a little bit warm um, back to this amazing top which I just researched and it's only 22 pounds they've sold out of size 4 but every other size is available um, this is a size 6 and it fits perfectly you could probably um, make it fit you perfectly anyway because it is a tie at the back 
then you've got this little tie detail there. Perfect for summer holidays, but also spring days here in the UK. I think I'm gonna wear this to the Chelsea Flower Show next week. I just, oh my gosh, absolutely love it. I have paired it, this is a head to toe, actually not shoes, this and this are both super affordable high street pieces. These are from River Island. They are some lovely white, not really culottes, wide leg trousers with some stunning lace detail down at the bottom. I absolutely love these. This whole outfit I am really, really happy with. I hadn't tried on either of these pieces before and now I feel like this could potentially be a favorite outfit that you'll be seeing me wearing on repeat. These shoes, I'm sorry I never filmed a what I bought in America video, I just did not have time, but these are what I bought from Tory Burch in Dallas and they are just so stunning. I'm going to take one off to show you properly. So they've got this gorgeous material down at the sole um, and on the heel, really little low heel, and then this beautiful pearl detail on the toe. They're just absolutely stunning. Not the most comfortable shoes in the world, um, much better for posing and if you're not going to be doing too much walking, like I wouldn't go shopping in them. Once again, maybe this bag is a keeper because it seems to go with so many outfits, but how nice is that? Also, this top and trouser combination only shows this little bit of tummy and I feel like this is always the most toned bit because if you do any kind of exercises in the gym that focus on your tummy, this bit gets toned the first and this bit is where your food sits. So I feel like if you want your tummy to look nice and toned, this is a really good outfit to do so. So I'm very, very happy with this little combination. By the way, everything that I have mentioned in this video will all be linked down below. So if you want to recreate this outfit, which I would highly recommend, um, they'll be linked in the description box. So check that out for the direct links. This to me is a summer holiday piece. There is actually quite a lot of fabric here, but the end result is just absolutely stunning. It is a beach, I would say this is like a summer day dress if you are going anywhere where you need to dress a little bit more conservatively. Beautiful lightweight cotton material. It's got this lovely lace detail going down the sleeves, some really beautiful pleating around the waist, and then it is full length down at the bottom as well. And then you can just kind of undo the buttons and reveal as much side leg as you want to. Once again, I've paired it with the Topshop shoes. And once again, I feel like it would be absolutely perfect with the Colt Gaia bag. I think I'm slowly but surely persuading myself that this bag needs to stay part of my collection. What do you think? Has your opinion changed? Do you think I should keep it now? Because it really does look so good with everything. Um, but yeah, this dress has a really, really beautiful shape to it. Very elegant. This will be, yeah, definitely coming with me on upcoming summer holidays. I have got Sophie's Hendu to look forward to, and I feel like this will be the perfect one. Although maybe it's a bit bridal to wear on someone else's Hendu. Hmm, let me know what you think. Getting to the last few pieces now, and this is a beautiful new lace dress, also from French Connection. Just the most beautiful quality lace. It's got this gorgeous scalloped effect going um, in like tiers. Tiers? Yeah, it's tiered down to the just above the knee level. Beautiful um, same effect on the sleeves, which is very, very tan enhancing. And then it's also got that scalloped, almost like a pom-pom effect on, although they're flat, on the neckline, crossover neckline. And then it's got a zip closure. Just a really lovely dress. Um, if you've got christenings, engagement parties, summer parties, you could wear this to things like the races or... I don't know, if you're going to Wimbledon, it would be really nice for that. Gosh, that's gonna come up very soon. Um, yeah, for any slightly smarter summer occasions, it's really nice to have something like this in your wardrobe. So this is another beautiful one. French Connection have so many gorgeous pieces at the moment. This one I am a big fan of. So I'm not sure if I would wear this combination together because it is quite in your face, but I think the trousers are really, really cute. The top, I think, I think I am a little bit too old for this, if I'm totally honest. Um, but the trousers are really, really good fun, and these are really affordable. They are from Miss Selfridge, a really, really nice summer holiday outfit. I think if you're going to, I don't know, like Mallorca or Spain with your friends, and you just want to look super chic, but also very Instagrammable, should the opportunity arise to get a good snap, then this is a really gorgeous outfit. You're not going to get too hot in this. You're showing off any toned tummy areas and any areas of nice tan or nice highlighting if you've done all of that. If you've got really good boobs as well, this would be amazing. I don't have any, but if you've got good boobs, then this would be fabulous. Um, and yeah, really nice 
really nice lightweight trousers to wear over the top of a bikini. You're not going to get too hot in this. So I thought I would show you this. I was going to show you this top with a pair of denim shorts, but I think mine are in the wash. However, I've tried it on with these light coloured jeans from Coast and I absolutely love how they look. Also with these shoes, I think it's very flattering. Um, and also if you're not quite ready to get your legs out yet, then pastel coloured jeans are absolutely amazing. The top is from River Island, nice and affordable and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. You've got these like thick fabric straps that go over the shoulder. I think it looks like a designer top, it really does. I mean it's only when you get up close that you can tell. Not that the material is cheap but it is not like you know perfectly finished like a designer top would be. But it does have a very very high end look about it. It's got almost like a crossover detail here, a little bit of pleating on the boob area and I just think it's such a beautiful fit. It looks really nice at the back as well. Um, yeah, really like how it looks with the trousers. This once again could be a nice look for the office if you can get away with something a little bit more feminine like this. So yes, another item that I've had for a little while, haven't tried it on and now that I have I'm absolutely in love. While I've got um, these trousers on I thought I would quickly show you this top as well. This is another beautiful one from French Connection. Really beautiful fabric. You can see it's got, um, it looks almost like a like a thick linen material but it's a lot more comfortable than linen. Um, really nice for framing a pretty necklace, very tan enhancing thanks to the bright white colour. Very comfortable, it's almost like smocking but it's it's not one shoulder which is great very kind of flamenco style um, and then yeah once again with the jeans not sure if I mentioned but these are from coast I always find coast denim to be super comfortable um, very very flattering and a really nice elastic content and very good quality yeah it's not one that you'd think of for denim coast but they have really really nice denim so check that out I've also decided that I'm actually not gonna do that video um, the five sunny day outfits because I'm not going to have time because it's now like 4 o'clock, I've been filming this section for about 2 hours, everything takes so much longer than you think it will, and I have quite a lot of stuff left on my to-do list, so what I'm going to do is, after showing you a couple more outfits, I'm going to actually finish this video because I think it'll be very long, so this will be a new makeup and what's new in my wardrobe, and then tomorrow I'm going to film my beauty day because I've got a lot of beauty treatments tomorrow. Um, and then Saturday, going to the Royal Wedding. I say going, I'm not actually going, um, but going into Windsor with Sophie to see it all unfolding. So you're going to get two vlogs. Um, so I hope that's okay. Let me know if you much prefer the ones where I put the camera on the tripod and it's like this. Maybe I will. I'll see how I get along time-wise. But as it stands, you're going to get this video and another vlog on Monday, so I hope that's okay. Also, with the same pair of trousers, I've popped on this lovely pink blouse. This is also from Coast. Really beautiful, lightweight material again. I'm really liking this little pussy bow blouse on the neckline. And then it's got, as you can see, open sleeves with just a little seam caught in the middle there to keep them together lovely and loose and floaty for spring. Um, yeah, you've got the bow here and then as you can see on the cuffs it has got this like sequin detail which first I wasn't sure if I liked or not, I thought it made it a little bit too jazzy um, but then actually it's not that obvious, it's quite a subtle because it's a bit of a matte sequin and it just gives the top a little extra detail if you wanted to wear it in the evenings. This could definitely work for like a dinner party or if you're going for date night or something. Um, so yeah, really lovely colour as well. A very beautiful fabric from Coast. I keep thinking we're nearly at the end, but there is actually a lot of stuff on this rail. I have maybe like three more outfits to show you. This is another really beautiful dress from French Connection. Um, it's got the gorgeous, gorgeous detail down at the bottom where you can obviously see where it's... Um, it's actually... I think this is lace. Yeah, lace down at the bottom. I was trying to see if it was the same material, in which case it would be laser cut, but nope, definitely lace. There are pockets, which is wonderful. I know we are all obsessed with pockets. Where did that obsession come from? I guess it's so that you can like stand in a really like nonchalant way, but I do like it. The top is a really elasticy material which makes it so comfortable, super flattering. It's almost like a little ballerina top, like a little tutu. Um, not a tutu, leotard. Tutu's the bottom bit. And I believe, yes, it has adjustable, look at all the mess on the puffy seat behind me. 
Ew, that's what I have to clear up after these videos. Um, yeah, once again, great for showing off the tan. Charlie's mum actually has this dress and um, it looks amazing on her. She has a really great style. I think I will probably dress the same when I am um, her age. She's not that old, but yeah, we've got the same style. Anyway, I digress. Gorgeous dress from French Connection. I think that's the last of the dresses. Um, yeah, I think I've shown you most of this stuff. Dun dun dun. I love how everything is literally the same colour palette. But you know what? It's what I love. Got something a little bit deeper and different from Zara. You probably saw all this in my Zara haul. This I think you've seen a few times on my Instagram. It is from it's got a little ribbon hanging from it. It is from LK Bennett. I love their straw bags at the moment, and this is a really nice big spacious one, fits so much stuff in there. Shorts are a trend that we've seen really emerging as we creep into summer, which you won't be surprised about if you've watched my video, um, oh my god it was a couple of months ago where I'd said about these spring summer trends. I did say that smart shorts would be one of the trends we'd be seeing and here they are. These are probably the favourite ones that I have found anywhere, these are River Island, beautiful material. They are like a kind of textured, almost like a jacquard material. Really, really nice. And then they've got these three gold buttons going up to being quite a high-waisted style. I've got the Tory Burch shoes on again. They don't have pockets. I keep, like, moving my hand around here trying to find them, but they're not there. And then I have matched the smartness of the shorts with a lovely blouse. This one is from Reese, a beautiful little investment piece. If you look closely, it has got, like, shimmering bits of fabric, so it's almost like... Kind of like a leopard or a giraffe, I don't know. Need to wear a nude bra instead of a white one, or you could wear. Uh, if you saw my Zara haul, you'll see that I got some little tops that go really nicely. One is actually like a leotard underneath things like this, great for anything sheer. But a nude bra is what I have worn with this blouse in the past. Beautiful lightweight material um, and a really gorgeous colour that works with so many things. So I thought this was a really cute little combination. And this is the last outfit that I'm going to show you because I have got a lot of emails that need answering since I've started filming this. And it is such a beautiful one to finish on. This is from Coast. Um, and oh my gosh, it's just the most beautiful material. I love the materials at this time of year. I love, as you know, light and floaty things. And this is both of those beautiful quality material. It's very, um, very light. It would be great for a really warm day. I've not done it up properly. If you're going um, again to like Wimbledon, I might wear this to the royal wedding. I might wear this on Saturday to go to Windsor. I'm not attending the wedding, as I said, so it doesn't matter if I wear a little bit of white, but it's got this beautiful, um, it looks like a dip dye floral pattern in the skirt. It feels like a beautiful, very lightweight cotton, has a gorgeous flow to the material, it looks beautiful with these little Tory Burch sandals once again. And I swear these sandals are getting more and more comfortable, so maybe I need to give them another go, because I did say they weren't very comfy earlier, but they're getting better. I am rambling, um, and my battery's about to go, so I think I'm going to finish this video here, so it's been, yeah, turned into a what's new in my wardrobe. I feel like my vlogs always turn into things. They start as a vlog and then I get so carried away that they become something else. So I hope you don't mind. Um, stay tuned for my royal wedding and beauty video which will be coming your way tomorrow evening um, as you watch this. Actually check my Instagram stories right now because there will still be royal wedding stuff up there because I'm going to put this live on Sunday. So that's all from me darlings. Check the description box down below for everything that I've mentioned. There'll be links down there and you can shop the things that are new in my wardrobe if you like. And now I'm going to tackle my evil, evil emails. There are so many. It's stressing me out and this bomb site because I've not been hanging up the clothes as I go. Oh, I also have this bikini from Reese, which I'm going to wear on Sophie's hem because we are all wearing black on the beach and she's going to wear white. So I got this from Reese, I'm rambling. I'm digressing, I'm rambling because I'm trying to do anything other than emails. Another side note, makeup is still looking so nice. I'm really impressed with the dewiness of the La Mer um, stick things I put on my cheeks and the everything that I did earlier still looking great three or four hours on on a very warm day. So thank you guys for watching. If you got to the end, leave the word sequin? <laughs> leave the word sequin or mirror. Leave the word mirror actually in your comments if you got to the end because I think this is going to be a long one. Um, and thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!
Oh, thumbs up if you liked it as well. Don't forget the thumbs up. It's a very quick and easy thing to do, but it really makes my day and it also helps my videos appear more in searches, so it really does help me out. So just spend a second giving it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and that's all from me. Bye.